I'm Erin Ryan, political commentator, comedy writer, and host of Crooked Media's Hysteria. And I'm co-host Alyssa Mastromonaco, former White House Deputy Chief of Staff for President Obama. Each week on Hysteria, we are joined by a team of hilariously opinionated ladies to discuss the headlines from the serious to the absurd. We cover everything from reproductive rights to rom-coms and break down the political news of the week and cultural stories that affect women's lives. New episodes of Hysteria drop every Thursday. Listen on Odyssey, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. This month on the 11th. I love the way you walk. I love it when you're really goofy on the phone and you sing everything. Carvel and Rasham live on opposite sides of the country. They're both writers. They're both parents. So they find ways to talk about their love whenever they can. I really love your voice. They shared their letters and voice memos with us. That's this month on the 11th. Listen now on Odyssey, Apple, or wherever you get your podcasts. We all know food affects us. Maybe I'm eating too much sugar. That's why I'm so hyper with you guys on the air. But you've learned to love me anyway. Um, No, I actually, you know, I, I joke about that. But when I was diagnosed with leukemia... I said to my doctor, um, because it was pretty surprising, you know, as a 48-year-old woman, and I was in otherwise great health, except for the disease that's lurking in your blood that's going to wipe you off the face of this earth. And I said to my doctor, did I do something? Did I cause this? Did I bring this on myself? And I imagine that in 100 years, they're going to find out that the frosted flakes we ate every day for breakfast might have been the cause of something or the pesticide that we used on the grass that we were doing cartwheels on. Who knows? I don't know the answer. But what my doctor said was, he goes, Jor, you didn't bring this on yourself. He goes, it wasn't anything you ate. It wasn't anything you did or didn't do. It wasn't all the candy. He said, you just got really, really, really unlucky. And I know people with chronic illness or diseases, we all have that moment as to, okay, what, what did I do to bring this on? You know, why, not only why is this happening to me, but how did I affect that? And if I find out, can I change it? Well, my next guest, I imagine, had a moment just like that that led to the writing of her book called Emily's Fresh Kitchen. Joining me now is Emily Maxson, who has her first book now published, again, Emily's Fresh Kitchen. Emily, welcome to the program. Thank you, Jordana, for having me. Uh, Tell us about your story. You wrote a book after devising a diet that was helping you with some of your ailments. So go back to the beginning and start and tell us about your Crohn's disease. Yeah, it was 1998. I was 28 years old and I woke up with some debilitating pain. I, my mom rushed me to the emergency room where they thought I was having appendicitis and they went in to do an apodectomy, found out I had diseased intestines and removed part of them, discovered in pathology that I had Crohn's disease. Hmm. So I was newly married and found out that I had this life-changing disease and was prescribed medications. And for about 10 years, I managed the disease through medication, hospital visits, and just kind of had a bumpy road of ups and downs, Mm -hmm. not feeling well. So for those that don't know, briefly describe Crohn's disease as the intestinal disease. Describe what it is and what it does to you. Yeah, Crohn's disease is a gastrointestinal disease that affects uh, your intestines. It can actually um, affect your whole digestive tract from your mouth to the end, and it causes sores, inflammation, and um, just a lot of pain, um, a lot of trips to the bathroom, Mm -hmm. multiple surgeries, and multiple medications to manage typically. My goodness. So how long did you manage this with, I guess, suffer? Well, maybe I shouldn't say manage. Maybe I should say how long did you suffer through this while you were on medication? I took medication for about, for it was about 10 years. And so I would take a medication and it would manage the disease for a while. I would feel good. And then I would start to feel bad again. And I would have to move on to another medication. I I followed what I call the pharmaceutical ladder. So that lasted about Mm -hmm. 10 years. And Crohn's disease isn't a disease that you cure, right? It's just something that you live with? Yes, it's a chronic disease that you have for the rest of okay. your life. So then how did you how did you decide that, okay, I'm going to look to food to solve this? I'm going to change my diet and this is going to help. Is there research behind this? And how did you start? Yes, there's um, 
I was following all the things that my doctor was telling me to do, and then I was also seeing a naturopath um, for mm. vitamins and supplements and looking at another approach to support what I was already doing. And she recommended a book called Breaking the Vicious Cycle by Elaine Gottschall, which discusses this diet called the Specific Carbohydrate Diet. It's mm-hmm. a very restrictive diet where you eliminate grains and starches and processed foods from your diet. And okay. people who follow this have had great luck with um, managing digestive diseases. Okay. I always get worried talking about diets here on the air. I don't, I don't endorse any diets. I don't really talk about fad diets ever because I don't want people to jump on the bandwagon and then it not have good results for them or for them to um, not be healthy if they're eliminating something. So this is specifically for you and specifically for Crohn's disease. So describe then how you changed your diet and then how it affected you. Absolutely. Um, I agree with you. Diet, this, is, this is what worked for me. There's a lot of right. testimony out there for what worked for other, other people, but this, is, this worked for me. And so I eliminated processed foods. I didn't have grains or starch or sugars. I started to cook everything from scratch. Um, and I substituted almond flour for all-purpose flour. For sweeteners, I could have honey or fruit. So I learned how to adapt recipes that I was already making using different ingredients that were allowed in this program. Okay, but you weren't eating carbohydrates? No. No, I would have vegetables, but no starches, no um, polysaccharides or disaccharides. In the theory, you could only have... I don't know what that is. um, I don't know what that is. Is Monosaccharides. What, What does that mean, though, for like in English? What does that mean? Okay, yeah. Monosaccharides are like one uh, cell. They're easily digestible. So foods, uh, vegetables, meats, Mm -hmm. uh, legumes, seeds, and nuts, those were the types of things that I was eating. And I followed this diet for a year and a half. And the theory is you can do it for a year to two years. It allows your intestines to kind of rest um, by having these easier to absorb foods, and then it heals. So I felt better instantly um, and just kept following the diet, went off my medications, and it was about 12 years ago I did this, and I haven't had to take medication or been in the hospital since. Really? That's amazing. That's amazing to me. What a huge success that is just by changing your diet. What was your doctor's reaction? You know, he was great about it. I I tried the diet for three months because it was really restrictive and just wanted Mm -hmm. to make sure that I had the self-discipline and the ability to follow it and see how I felt. And I met with him after three months and said I was ready to go off my medications. And he said, you know, there's a really good chance that if you need to go back on your medication, it will not work um, because you've taken a break from it. And I recommend that you don't do that, but there is a lot of testimony out there regarding this diet, and you need to do what's best for you. So if you feel like doing this, we'll support you here. And so I did it and came back three months later and said, I'm ready to go off my medication. I'm feeling great. Mm -hmm. And they were um, amazed to see that I didn't return. So that's amazing. Yeah, that is real. I mean, what a testimonial that is real. I'm sure they were surprised too. Um, But you only know that it works for you. Have you shared this with other people? Has it been working for them? Oh, yeah, I've shared it with a lot of other people um, through my website and online online community. I know a lot of people that have followed this for colitis or celiac and had good results with it. Um, Yeah. So can you go out to dinners or, or, or lunch, or do you always cook every meal at home by your, for yourself? I cook. After a year and a half, I was able to introduce foods back into my diet that I couldn't have. Mm. And so today, I can tolerate most foods. It was like doing really? that for a year and a half allowed my intestines to heal and reset. And I'm usually pretty clean and watch what I eat, but I definitely eat out and eat other things that I couldn't back when I followed the strict diet. Oh, so you don't have to do the complete strictness forever. You 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 can beg off. They recommend one to two years, and that's okay. what worked for me. But some people stay on it forever. But for me, I was able to introduce foods back and not have any issues. And like I said, it's been about 12 years. And yeah, I haven't been in the hospital or on a medication. 
that is amazing. I know so many people with Crohn's and um, this is extraordinary. Did your, does your doctor now prescribe this for other people? Well, the, uh, the doctor is no longer there, but the physician assistant that I saw recently, she told me that they now can tell people if they're looking for an alternative that this is mm-hmm. something that they know of patients who've had success with. Wow. Um, now, you are a trained chef. You're, you're a I trained am. chef by trade. Yes. So that worked out for you that you could get creative. And I know you've written this book, uh, of course, Emily's Fresh Kitchen, Cook Your Way to Better Health, which I'm so pleased to say was published by a local female-owned publisher. Publishherpress.com is the local publisher. And I'm, I'm thrilled to see that they have another book here um, on their name. But um, so so you've, you've published this book, Emily's Fresh Kitchen. And is it just a, bu- a series of recipes? for those with Crohn's? It's, it's for anybody. I, what I learned from my experience is that what we can eat can have a great impact on our overall health. So my goal with this book is for it to be a trusted resource for anyone in just to prepare simple, healthy meals at home that still taste delicious. They're simple to, simple to make and healthy. So if you have Crohn's or um, are following the specific Car Harbor carbohydrate diet, you'll find many recipes there that would fit with that. The recipes are adaptable for different dietary theories like paleo or vegan, um, but it's really for everyone. Beautiful. And we can get the book everywhere, Emily? Right now, you can get the book on my website at emilysfreshkitchen.com. It's available for pre-order. We expect to ship the end of February. And at the end of February, it'll also be available on Amazon and local stores. Well, congratulations. What an incredible success story. Uh, You were your own guinea pig, and I'm thrilled for you. And thank you for sharing the book with us. Yeah, thank you so much. Emily's Fresh Kitchen dot com. You can get the book. It'll soon be available everywhere from Publish Her Press, the local company that published it. But uh, fascinating story. Absolutely fascinating. 30 years ago in the Brooklyn neighborhood of Crown Heights, a car accident set off four days of unrest. Two people died. Hundreds were arrested. I'm Collier Meyerson, and my new show, Love Thy Neighbor, explores what came to be known as the Crown Heights Riot. It's a story about New York's first black mayor, the rise of Rudy Giuliani, and the Lubavitch Jewish and Caribbean communities sitting at the center of it all. You can listen to new episodes of Love Thy Neighbor every week wherever you listen, or you can binge the entire series exclusively on Odyssey. The NBA season is heating up, and the coverage you need is on Odyssey. Go deeper with daily coverage for every team with the Locked On Podcast Network, plus local sports station pods for your team. Need NBA hot takes? Check out Heat Check with Trista Crick. If you live for the drama of the NBA, you're going to love this pod. Plus, turn the NBA season into money season with expert betting tips and analysis for your favorite BetQL talent on You Better You Bet, the daily tip, and more. Turn this NBA season into a slam dunk. Listen now on Odyssey. Sponsored by Edmunds. Looking for your next car? Every year, Edmunds editors test hundreds of new vehicles and drive over half a million miles. Their in-depth reviews and rankings will help you narrow your search. You can also find deal ratings that will let you know if you're getting a fair offer. Visit Edmunds.com to get their honest take on all the latest vehicles. That's E-D-M-U-N-D-S dot com. Edmunds. We drive it like it is.